The Patia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. Good day and sweaty cup. Well, today with the cast of thousands, we had the most amazingly charming morning listening to Ben play his own compositions and other people's compositions and educating us, along with these two pillars on either side, about music and classical music. So, Ben, did you enjoy today? Yes. What's the best part of today? Well, the best part was just playing the music. <laughs> what about the talking? You seem to enjoy talking as well. Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, a, you did a good job. And uh, apparently you are a true musician because you forgot something today, t didn't you? Yeah, I did. What did you forget? My scores. <laughs> My scores. So you had to do it from memory, right? But fortunately, it was a, a number you should remember. Yeah. Why is that? Because it's my own composition. Yeah, it'd be a bit embarrassing if you, got, if you forgot your own composition, right? So, when did, how did you get Ben into this? Did he always show an interest in music? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, he was maybe around four years old when his mama said that, why don't you take piano lessons than everybody else? Okay, so he went to take some piano lessons. And then we noticed one evening that he has a pitch perfect. Perfect pitch. Perfect pitch or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I thought first it was a coincidence, but then he repeated it several times and then I realized it wasn't a coincidence. Right. And then it has taken off. Right, and you didn't realize it was going to cost you this so much money, right? Unfortunately, I didn't realize that, no. <laughs> My wallet is becoming thinner and thinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you think this is expensive, you, it could have been worse. It could have been ballet. Yeah, golf. it could have been golf. Oh, golf, yeah. <laughs> but at least they can you know, get rich out of golf. So, uh, and this is our... Uh, our full, he's just here to play four-handed boogie with uh, Ben. You've got to watch the whole thing and the four-handed boogie at the end and everything. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, charming evening. See, people are having such a good time, they're still laughing about it in the distance. So I want to say something more also about Marcus, because he has been around all the time supporting, supporting Ben. So how long have you known this, these guys? Maybe five years, is that right? Four yeah. or five years, yes. So uh, half... Very soon after I arrived in Patia, actually. Right. Because um, are you like neighbours or something? No, I was teaching at a music school, a school called Anda, right. and Ben came along, and within a few weeks we were all friends, and uh, he carried on from there, really. <laughs> and I recognised that he had talent immediately, so... And yeah. There is a story I remember, because we were looking for a new music school for Ben, and then we went there, uh, it was in Pataya Klang, I believe, we went there with Ben, and then they said, oh, but we cannot really teach him, because he's too good. Mm. And then he said, you need a creative teacher. And then I started to look at internet, and because I have not been in music for many, many, many years. So then I started to look at internet, and then I found Anda, and then we found Marcus. See, what disturbs me the most about your playing is, half the time you're not even looking at the keyboard, right? How, is, how, how can anybody do that, not look at the keyboard? Well, the thing is, most importantly, muscle memory. Right. So I think you should just, he should do blindfold demonstrations of music playing. Right? I can. <laughs> So he's like the Stevie Wonder who can see. <laughs> but uh, so, are you working on any new compositions? Yes, I am. What's what style of music? Well, like mostly go classical, but sometimes it just yeah. Because I'm right now, I just finished a minimalist piece. All oh, right. Because I, I, you don't know, I've actually written uh, a song and I've written lyrics for quite a few different songs. So, um, and you're working on some compositions. I'm always working on compositions. Yes, he's a composer. <laughs> yes, I'm, funnily enough, we're entering for the same competitions. If I find a good competition that's free to enter, because it's my opinion that if you pay to enter a competition, they're pirates, basically. Well, they're probably just making money. Yeah, exactly. But there's two, two or three really good free competitions at the moment, and we've already once uh, entered for the same competition, and neither of us won. But so and we've got two more we're going to enter for. Three? For choral Actually, pieces. Oh, three, yeah. Three pieces. Three. So I'll have to keep them separated, you know, because this is going to be this big rivalry going on. Totally different kinds of music, which is good. Well, I just cannot recommend how too highly having a look at the, the charming, charming morning we had today at the club. Very, very blessed to have these three insane people. <laughs> and uh, uh, insane. 
<laughs> that soon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, of course, we have you back at Christmas time, etc. And we'll have you back next year with your compositions, oh. where you're going to play a Thai number on the piano. I'll, I'll prepare something special. Thai music on a piano. That'll be different. All right. Well, many thank yous, and uh, we just uh, have to, you know, say au revoir. We can't talk, talk, keep talking forever. Even though it would be great if we did. So uh, everybody, say goodbye. Bye. See you next time at the club. Bye. Thanks to Ben and Marcus and Bill. <laughs>